What's cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you another update of my 20 gallon reef tank. Now in this quick update, I'm just gonna show you what I will do in the next few days or weeks. This is gonna be my big project. Now this project is removing the vermited snails. Now today, as you can see, I removed the snails like a few days ago and look at that. My gold hammer is happy, it's not contracted or you know, the polyps are extended looks very very happy so I think it's working I think the vermited snails were irritating the corals because they send those mucus to get food and it's definitely working so my tip is get those vermited out or snails early when they are small because when they're small or smaller proportion or numbers they're easier to remove and you know eradicate just like in the past, I have the Astorina snails that were eating my Zoanthids. And now I don't have any Astorina uh, starfish. So basically remove it early and you can, or you can also prevent it. But in today's video, I went to Home Depot last week. I got their cheapest needle nose pliers. Because they will be on the salt water, so they, this might get rusted over time. You just want the cheapest one. You don't really need the most expensive one. And another thing is I went to my Dollar General store. Luckily, it was just beside Home Depot, and I got this $1 super glue gel. Make sure you get the gel. All right? And what I will do is I will clip those vermited snails on their base, uh, and then rinse it out on my tank water in another bucket to make sure there's no eggs or anything lying around and then I'll super glue a little bit around so that will be my project in the next few days or a few weeks so hopefully I'll see results then and we'll see the results from then on so thanks for watching guys I hope you liked the video Thanks for all the subscribers, comments, and likes. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. And I will surely be glad to help you. So, adios. Happy reef keeping.